100 Jams, where hit music lives. Now you're locked in the midday chop up with your girl, Erin Vrain. Rest in peace, man. The Pop Smoke. That was just Pop Smoke featuring Chris Brown with Woo Baby. Right now, it is time for Chat Trap, talking about what's hitting the headlines today. And as we know it, Chat Trap is brought to you by the Village Drug and Beauty Supply and Village Auto Parts. You can shop now and save at the Village Drug and Beauty Supply store located on Alexander Boulevard, Nassau Village. For all your hair care needs, groceries, personal items, and beauty supplies, the Village Drug and Beauty Supply store have it all. Call them now at 393-3419. Okay, so juicy topics today. When it ain't one thing, it's the next. And I'm pretty sure we all are very familiar with that line. I'm very familiar with, you know, just different things just always occurring in our day-to-day life. But that's exactly the direction that Nicki Minaj's life is heading in right now. She was just being bashed on social media for continuing to be unvaccinated after she had caught COVID-19 and for sharing that she was invited to the White House. They had everyone just coming for her, basically telling them they gave... Nicki Minaj, the same invitation that they give to everybody else, and she ended up going on live and kind of on a rant about it, just basically stating that, hey, come on, you know, they obviously did not give her the same invitation that they would give to anybody. So it's just a whole lot of controversy that actually surrounded that. But now, once again, the woman who is suing Nicki Minaj and her husband, Kenneth Petty, for alleged harassment will now speak her piece on the real talk show today all i'm saying is i know a lot of people will be tuned into this because this is the same woman jennifer hugh who actually had accused um yes who had accused Nicki minaj's husband of rape what in 1994 so kenneth petty served more than four years in prison after being found guilty of raping jennifer hugh when they were both 16 years old she has now filed a lawsuit claiming that Nicki minaj and her husband kenneth petty have hired persons to harass her into changing her story about the sexual assault in 1994 so kenneth petty they're saying the story went like this actually you know stating what happened at the event in 1994 that he actually held Jennifer Hugh at knife point and pulled her into a home where he raped her. And Jennifer Hugh said she escaped the attacks and notified high school authorities, which led to his apprehension and subsequent prosecution. But Kenneth Petty copped a plea deal to attempted rape and therefore saved himself from spending decades in prison. Now, it seems as though this will not go away um, when it comes to... You know, Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty and everything. And also Jennifer Hugh did say that they tried to even bribe her, giving her wads of cash, bags of cash. And it's just not working for her. She's definitely not going ahead to change that around. And also, if you have been paying attention to headlines a couple of weeks back, Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, did not even... A register as a sexual offender, as a sex offender in L.A., which is where he lives with Nicki Minaj. And he could possibly be facing up to 10 years in prison. So, I don't know. All I can tell you is be very careful, ladies, when choosing your husband or choosing your baby daddy. Moving on to further news, a video of an actress by the name of Harley Dean went viral when she stated that Rihanna hated her and that she had done work for her charity foundations, but she was eventually blocked from attending the same event um, she was fundraising. But she also even mentioned that Rihanna had hooked up with her former boss, who is an African prince, and that she gave him the sexually transmitted disease chlamydia back in 2015. Now, sometimes we got to know just when to keep our mouth shut, just when to let situations die down and let it just pass away. So obviously, maybe she still have some hurt, some hate for Rihanna up to today, seeing that this was all the way back in 2015. And she stated that everyone thought that she was the one who was, you know, being who was having sexual intercourse with a boss. But in reality, it was Rihanna. And she called Rihanna the B word. And she also said it came out. She got him sick because he was married. He's a prince in Africa. So clearly this woman still have a lot of beef going on with Rihanna up to today. And I think this will definitely end her acting career because in the business, you know, especially when you're well-connected, someone like Rihanna on the platform that she is on, a billionaire herself, trust me, this is not going to allow this woman to get too far in her field. But hey, 
Everything happens for a reason. And moving on to further news, send a big happy birthday shout out going out to Mr. Moneybag Yo. He just turned the big 30 years old today. And oh man, sometimes you look at these rappers and you really think they're kind of younger. You think they're a bit older. You just never know what to think. And then when you actually find out their age, it's crazy. So he's just 30 years old. I think that's a good look for him, though. But that's it for Chat Trap. Just letting you know what's hitting the headlines today. Reminding you always that Chat Trap is brought to you by the Village Drug and Beauty Supply and Village Auto Parts. You can shop now and save at the Village Drug and Beauty Supply store located on Alexander Boulevard, Nassau Village for all your hair care needs, groceries, personal items, and beauty supplies. The Village Drug and Beauty Supply Store have it all. Call them now at 393-3419. Back in the mix, my favorite single for Moneybag. Yo, low baby, all of a sudden.